Hi everyone. So today I have an amazing workflow here as you can see. This is the first workflow from text to video on my channel and now in this year I would be bringing way more models. The first one I am bringing is the LTX video text to video uh, generation and the best part about this is you can see this video right and this has been generated on my laptop with RTX 4060 graphic card which has 8 GB of VRAM and it takes just around 1 minute and 10 seconds so you can run this even in 6 GB of VRAM it will take slightly higher than that but uh, you can definitely work with 6 GB of VRAM and there are some optimizations you can see the GGUF and everything and uh, I'll show one by one what you need to do in this particular workflow. We have different examples as well. So I'll go through everything and how to structure the prompt as well because this is the most important part of this workflow. Starting with the models that you will need, you will find the link to this uh, workflow models and everything in the description below. So don't worry about it. You need the LTX video to be 0.9.1 safe tensors. If you come here on their hugging face, you will go to file and version and here you can find this one. So you can see the previous one LTX video 0.9 was 9.37 GB. It has been reduced to 5.72 GB. Now you will find GGUF versions for the 0 0.9 uh, model, but I would suggest using the 0.9.1 because it is way better in my testing. And 5.72 GB is something that you can fit in the 6 GB VRAM as well. Now secondly you would see is that now for this workflow if you are missing any custom nodes just go here and install missing custom nodes. With this here you can see I am using the clip loader GGUF the same model that we use for flux just that I have changed the type to LTXV. Normally you would see in GGUF, we use the dual clip for flux and here we choose the flux, right? So this is the single one. We are using a single uh, clip model and this is also the quantized version. Now after that, we have positive and negative prompts. So negative, I don't think you need to change. You can add something as well. And I'll come back to the positive prompt because uh, this has a particular format that you should follow. Now. The things that you can change is that basically you can see there is frame rate here. There's the width and height and I would suggest to keep it uh, this particular and not change it. These uh, numbers as well and not change it. The length is something pretty interesting. It should be the multiple of 8 plus 1. So like 80 would be the multiple of 8 plus 1 81 something like that. You can find this here as well in the model card if you go down you will see that resolutions that are divisible by 32 and the number of frames that are divisible by 8 plus 1 that is 257 so this works the best so obviously it is 97 so 96 would be divisible by 8 and plus 1 other than that we are using the uh, sampler name and uh, steps is 30 and everything you can see is pretty much similar now after that here we have the options of noise fixed i have put it at fixed and cfg at three because i find this uh, gives a very realistic uh, output this particular portion actually helps in stabilizing the video and i have seen the coherency increase now for this remember one thing the ltx attention override i am using 14 there are three ways you can use this what i have found out in my testing that is either you can use 8 or you can use 14 or you can use 8 comma 14 but uh, 14 uh, works pretty well with uh, all of these if something is not coming out as you want you can try to change it to 8 as well the frame rate i have put is uh, 25 now the thing and this is the video combine basically so here you see i have chosen uh, mp4 format and you can keep everything as same say you are saving the output you can keep uh, everything as same one thing which i have noticed is that some seeds are typically bad 
so not if you uh, find that some noise seed is producing bad results i tried out with different prompts and i have actually tried a lot of different seeds with their provided uh, prompts you can click on any of these and it will give the full prompt and i have also generated these as you can see so due to some reason some uh, seeds are bad and some seeds uh, tend to be good for most of the prompts like uh, uh, averaging out they can be called as good seeds so i have provided some of them which i have found provide like pretty decent results now these are not limited obviously you would find way more when you like keep on generating these are only some to get started and uh, i have uh, used this first seed right and this first one i am using and you can see for the prompt now what i have done is that let's come to the prompts so i have actually taken this prompt you can see a woman with light skin wearing blue jacket and a black hat with veil looks down and to her right then back up as she speaks she has a brown hairstyle in an updo light brown eyebrows and you can see this particular prompt right what i have done is and initially i would suggest to do that i copied it i pasted it i removed the hat and everything i changed it with beautiful eyes wearing a red jacket red lipstick you know and you can see it follows it pretty pretty well like the eyes are not messed up it is pretty coherent the lipstick is to the point the jacket is to the point and you can understand the format that you need to uh, use otherwise you would get pretty bad results now let's come to the generations this particular one right and i have used this prompt and you can see this is the result so this was the result 4 seconds for this prompt and uh, remember i have kept the seed fixed this is the first one first seed so you can also try these uh, try the prompts by your own and uh, you can check whether you are getting the same results so this way you can understand what seeds to use and how to write the prompts let's come to the second one i used this particular prompt a man in a dimly lit room talks on a vintage telephone and you can see it and this is the one so now you can see that it is different from the prompt that is provided on the page but it uh, gives pretty good results and all of this is just on 8 gb vram and that too it takes like 1 minute 10 seconds so uh, pretty pretty fast it is actually faster than flux generation now the third one is actually this one so a landscape the waves crash against the jagged rocks of the shoreline sending spray high in the air and i co copied this i pasted on the same seed and you can see this is the generation again pretty good for a uh, this can be used something like uh, for a stock video or something like that pretty pretty good and now what i would do is i would keep uh, the seed same right and i would try one of my own prompts that i have tried to write and this is something you need to try it out a little bit a russian woman with long hair wearing a strapped red crop top sits on the edge of a bed her uh, face is streaked with tears and she looks down visibly upset the camera slowly pans from left to right capturing her sadness in the eyes the lighting is dim with a greenish tint the scene appears to be real life footage so i try to follow the format that they are using to generate the image and let's see what comes up right so this would be for the same uh, noise and as you can see and you can see that the video generation is complete so this is not bad a slight bit of uh, i think a little bit of problem with the hair but it looks pretty good uh, prompting needs to be a little bit better but this is what i came up with looking at the prompts we need to try it out a little bit but this is also good like there is no uh, artifacts or something which would give, which would give away at that uh, this video is corrupted or something like that so uh, it looks good and again 
try out these seeds first and you can also then try to randomize the seed to see whether there are other seeds as well which provide good results some of them provide very bad results so this was it for the video you'll get all the uh, download links in the comment uh, description box and if you have any kind of doubt any kind of questions please put it in the comment section below and i'll, I'll try to reply as soon as possible thank you